Okay, um, the Marshals, Soult, 1809, French Operation. Um, okay, so... Yeah, so re to, just to review, the French have two event markers. There's a lawn. I think that's for battle. And then Genie, or engineer, uh, Engineering. There, okay. That's, um... Uh, both the Anglo-Allied and French sides have this, and they're both in 1808 and 1809. Uh, the Genie marker has two possible uses. One, destruction of a bridge, or two, repairing a bridge. Um, let's talk about destruction of a bridge first. Uh, there is a marker for that. There is a marker... Where is it? Where is it? Um, um, oh, whoops. Hmm. Oh. Um. That's funny. Where am I? Huh. Okay. What did I do with it? Hmm. Huh. I don't know what I did with it. There's supposed to be a destroyed bridge marker. Um, oh, that's interesting. Well, there it is. Right there. That's not very good. Not a very good picture, but all right. Um, so destruction of a bridge. So again, we're talking about the genie or engineering marker there. Phase C, so that's the operations phase. Um, if an infantry unit in a zone connected to a bridge, so we're looking at um, the main ones, right? So there's a main bridge there. What should I call that? Um, could call that the Villa... Real Bridge, just because it's near the city there. But there's a bridge there over the Duro. Um, there's a bridge, obviously there's the bridge at Oporto. Um, I guess those are the main ones, and there are a couple here. Um, oh, okay, there is one way up here, and there's one there. Oh, there's one there. Oh, and there are a bunch of bridges over here. A bunch of bridges, okay. So, actually there are a lot of bridges in play, but there are only a couple over, over the Duro. One, and two, okay. Um, uh, connected to a bridge is activated for the movement, for movement. If the two zones connecting the bridge are free of enemy units, place the marker on the side, Pont de, de Tri, uh, destroyed bridge, on the concerned bridge. No unit may use this connection until the bridge is repaired. The unit is then considered activated. Simple, straightforward. So number two, repairing a bridge. To be played in the same conditions as for destruction of a bridge. Okay, so it's phase C, uh, friendly unit, adjacent, no enemy units adjacent on either side, blah, blah, blah. Uh, remove the marker. The bridge is only usable by other units starting with the following turn. Starting in the following turn. Okay. Um... So, I went through that because I wanted to know, do I consider playing this marker? I think it's, I think it's early. Um, you know, but maybe, you know, over here, next turn, because these guys are already activated. They're already inverted. Um...
you know, maybe they pull north of the Duro and then they um, they destroy that that bridge. Um, or, of course, we use it over at, at Oporto. Um, but I think it's too early. I think it's too early. Okay. Now, let's talk about activation. So those guys have activated. Um, these guys have activated. And they've activated. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over everybody who is still available. Because uh, I have forgotten what I have going on here. Um, and those guys, okay, so I guess one thing to note is that the Anglo allies have all activated, so that's something to take into consideration. One thing is that I simply pass now, and I think I basically forced the end of the turn, I believe anyways, um... But before that, let's figure out, I mean, so here's Sult, and Sult is in a central position here, and he, he only has, this off on the display here, but he only has the baggage trains with him right now. Um, I was bringing these guys down to link up with Sult there, um, in which case I don't know why I went this way. I should have gone this way. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I was thinking... Um, was I thinking that these guys were going to come down here and Sult was going to come meet them? I don't know what I was thinking. But, uh, anyways, Sult is there with the baggage trains. I don't think I'm going to do anything with, with him. Here's Delaborde Infantry. His current strength is one, two, ooh, very weak. Two strength points, but morale four. I guess that's, I guess four is average for the French. Actually, it looks like all the French start at morale four, so that's typical. Tip, shouldn't, I guess I shouldn't say average, but I should say typical. Typical for the French, Delabord has morale of four, but he's only strength of two. Not very strong. Um, this is Lazon, subordinate leader over here. Not very good, too, either with a, with a modifier of zero. Um, he has... He has a large, well, large for the French. So his force is two infantry. Two infantry. Let's see how their total strength is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven steps of infantry, um, two steps of cavalry, and two steps of of artillery. So, a, ba a balanced force there. So that's Loison at Oporto. Um, certainly doesn't seem to be any reason to move him at this point. Um, you know, do the French go on the offensive? Um, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll, I'll flip them over when I'm done. I think Sult is going to stay put. Uh, Loison is going to stay put. Uh, so Delaborde. Um, keep him stay. I'll have him stay put as well for now. Now we have the Dragoons here and the Dragoons here. Um, Um, I should, by the way, consider the two French decoys have been discovered and removed, so I should probably talk about when they come back. I wonder if that's a step in the game sequence. But anyways, uh, what I want to do with those cavalry units... Um, This movement in here along these um, trails, I mean, that's pretty slow. Yeah, it is slow, right? If they're, not, well, yeah, if they're lucky and they get full movement 
points, which I guess it's 50-50 chance. 50-50 chance they get their full movement allowance, which is 9. And each of these trail connections is 3. So maybe they go 1, 2, 3 zones. Not bad. But if they get a... What would it be? I'm trying to th think if it's... Uh, Well, I guess if it's a two or a three, so 30% chance, 30, 3% chance that they get half of their movement allowance, 4.5. Huh, do you round? I guess you do round that up to five, but it, you're still only going three. You're still only going one spot, and then 18% chance you get nothing. Um, you know, that doesn't, no, that doesn't sound right. No, I was off. It, it's it's better than that. Yeah, actually, it's... All right, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to... I'm going to activate him. So, I'm going to roll. Boy. This is horrible. Uh, all right, one. Plus one for only cavalry. Plus one because he does have a line of uh, communication back to Sewell, the... Uh, Supreme or the commander in chief. So it is three, and three is half of its movement, which is 4.5 rounded up to five, which means, and he only has two trails going out, east and west. So, since the Angle allies have, have passed that area where they had the lateral movement. Now they're on the, the road coming north. They're going to move back here. Which I guess technically... I mean, technically they draw fatigue, but it's... Two. Their morale is full five. So it's not even close to having an issue there. Um, would they draw more? No, they would not. No. So... That's that. They're done. Like that. Actually, um, I do believe the Angle Allied uh, side uh, would pass. So I won't go back to them. Let's come back to the French. So the French get to get to activate again. Um, now. Now I'm going to move. I'm going to move Della board. I want to move him one. So there we go. Three plus one because he has a line of communication. That's still only half the. Um, he has a line of communication back to the commander in chief, but he uh, still only gets half of his moving allowance. But that's nine half to four point five. Round up to five. This is um, two along the path there. Yeah, again, this is just a formality. They draw zero fatigue um, there. Now the now the French are done. This um, Husser unit is gonna whoop. It's gonna stay put. Um, okay, I think that's it. So then both sides would pass. Um, we're done there. Then we go to the administrative phase. Remove any remaining backs to the river. Back to the river. Um, markers, there aren't any on the map. Um, test for recuperation. Okay. We do have a loss. Mermet. Uh, Merme. Um, which is here, I think. Uh... Yeah, there. They do have a loss. I don't believe... I don't believe that they... can do anything about that. But I will double check. Um, recuperation of units. So what does that mean? What is recuperation? It has a separate rule section, 7.8. A unit that has not been activated during the turn. Well, it has been activated. 
okay, I have to wait, I have to not activate it, and make sure that it's not forced to activate, is not demoralized. It's not demoralized because otherwise it... You know, I wonder if I was... There's the demoralized marker. I, was, I hope he wasn't supposed to automatically become demoralized when he retreated. Um, I guess there's a test. A test of demoralization if this, uh, of the stack if there is a retreat. I see that in the comment sequence. I don't remember if I did or I didn't. Since I, since I can't remember if I did or I didn't, I'll just skip it. I'll leave it. But I wonder if he wasn't... I wonder if he wasn't supposed to um, test for demoralization. Hmm. Uh, okay, so... So you roll 1d6. Is there a... I don't see anything on the player aid chart, but you roll 1d6. If the result is less than or equal to the morale of the unit, subtract one loss from the unit. Loss is due to the creation of gears and it cannot be salvaged. So he could so he could get that loss back. I think it's fairly significant that you take a whole turn out, but then again, one if you have to do it, you have to do it. But um you are taking a whole turn out to do that. Hmm. Okay. Um that's recuperation though. Non activated, non demoralized units with no enemy stack in the zone. That's for recuperation. Uh, test for rallying. Okay, that's to undemoral, undemoralize. <laughs> uh, demoralize unit without an enemy stack in the zone. Okay, advance the turn marker. And then... So we go to 10 May. And at some point we were supposed to un... You know, restore everybody. Um, like that. Um... I will do that, but for the new turn, I'm going to go ahead and roll the initiative now just to see where we're at. Um, the French definitely get it because it's going to be six plus, I think Sult has one. Yeah, Sult has one, so that's seven. Wesley has two, but that's three. Three plus two is five. So the French win the initiative for the 10th of May. Um, Oh, so the next time I play, um, it will be a French operation. Um, and I think before I start recording the next session, I'll go ahead and knock out the event shits for each side as well. <laughs>